Good morning, my friends. It's a very gray November morning here in Southern California's North Hollywood. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso, the non-sectarian Buddhist monk, teacher, healer, and tantrika. So let's get to it. Today I'm going to walk you through a set of guided meditations that should take you about less than two minutes. These are very useful. These would be considered, uh, these would fall under the long room training of cultivating compassion and love. As some people would call this Buddhist psychology. Uh, scholars would call it exchanging self and others. We all tend to be self-centered and narcissistic to one degree or another. We all tend to put ourselves first and others second, or third or fourth, or last. And so by exchanging self and others, we're exploring how Pika people, all others, could be even more important than just one us. Now, in uh, Universal Motherhood, we explored the sentimental approach, and we compared that to Dr. McCoy on Star Trek, the original series. Today's five contemplations are going to um, be very logical, and so I, contr I, can, I compare them to a Spock on Star Trek, the original series. So let's go for it right now. We're going to deal with some glaringly obvious facts, so don't let that put you off. So let's begin by having a good posture, head over shoulders, shoulders over pelvis, left hand in lap, palm up, right hand in lap, thumbs do not touch. So on the in-breath we're going to ask the contemplative rhetorical question, how many am I? The answer, of course, is one. <laughs> so let's play with that right now. On the in-breath, how many am I? On the out-breath, releasing. And releasing is just a reference to our breath and our tension and our choosing to let go. It's just that simple. How many am I? Releasing. Now, by way of contrast, we're going to ask, how many are all? How many are all the living beings in this house, in this neighborhood, in this continent, in this planet, in this galaxy, in this universe, in all the universes? How many are all releasing? Now we're going to take one sentence and divide it in half. The full sentence is, if the full sentence is, how could all be more than me? And we're not talking about the being more important or the more pretty or the more special. Just numerically, it's undeniable that many are more than one. So let's play with that right now. We're going to divide that in half. On the in-breath, um, how could all be, on the out-breath, more than me? Now we can bring it into the realm of the uh, specific. So let's pretend we're, we're feeling a little bit groggy or weak. 
today. Well, they probably don't like feeling groggy or weak. And it's, it is very easy for our dissatisfaction for a physical affliction to make us a little bit self-centered. So we're going to use the next um, contemplation to explore the possibility that in the far reaches of the multiverse, there's probably a handful of many, many, many beings who are feeling just as crappy as we are right now, or just as groggy, are just as weak. How can all how can all weakness be more important than mine? How can all others' weakness be more important than mine? Now we're going to flip that over with the opposite of weakness, strength. When we feel weakness, but what do we like to do? We often like to replace that weakness with strength. We feel that our quest for strength, our quest for vitality is important. And we compare it to the quest for vitality of all the other beings in our house, or in our neighborhood, or our continent, or our world, or our galaxy, or our universe, or the multiverse. We kind of pale by comparison. Why could all others' strength be more important than mine? there you have it. You've taken a natural phenomenon, feeling weak and desiring strength, and turned that into a reminder that others' needs are even more numerous than our own, consequently, even more important than our own. And it really helps to dial down our pride and our self-importance and our self-centeredness. And that's today's quickie set of contemplations. Remember, the Monday series of weekly class meditation classes begins December 2nd. If you're in the greater Los Angeles area, I invite you to attend in person. If not, I invite you, invite you to attend live over Skype. And there's only so many places in my physical venue or on my Skype auditorium. So if you plan to register, Use the link below, the lamajigme.com link, to register today. May you and yours be. Oh yes, by the way, if you wish to send me a question or a comment or simply extend a cyber hug in my direction, then use the Facebook link below. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Om Namo Buddhaya. Bye-bye now.